was dubbed the King of Calypso, becoming a breakout star while breaking down racial barriers in the 1950s with hits like Deo. And Jamaica Farewell, which he performed on The Ed Sullivan Show. But I'm sad to say I'm on my way. Won't be back for many a day. All before becoming a force fighting for civil rights and a hero to millions around the world. Michael B. Jordan helping him to the stage a few years ago as he gave an impassioned speech. The struggle is still going on. The 96-year-old singer, actor, and activist died in his Manhattan home from congestive heart failure. Today, the stars pay tribute to the Hollywood icon. He inspired me so much personally. John Legend was on stage for a Time 100 event when the news broke. If you think about what it means to be an artist and an activist, he was literally the epitome of what that was. Tiffany Haddish, Katie Couric, Jamie Lee Curtis all remembered him. And Oprah summed up his impact, calling him, quote, a trailblazer and a hero to us all. Oh, island in the sun, built to me by my father's hand. Born in Harlem to immigrant parents from Jamaica, by 1959, he was the highest paid black performer in American history. His chart-topping singing career led to movie roles in films like Carmen Jones and Island in the Sun. That movie was groundbreaking, a story of interracial love shot in the West Indies. Harry Belafonte reveling in his temporary freedom and enjoying every minute of it. He became the first black man to achieve leading man success in Hollywood, and he was the first black actor to win an Emmy. But it was his trailblazing work off screen, which was most important to him. UNICEF means an awful lot to me. He spoke to us in 2012 when he was honored for his decades long work with UNICEF. Been to a lot of places and I've seen the remarkable work that UNICEF does. Harry worked tirelessly, fighting alongside his friend, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. for civil rights. Speaking out about the struggle in this 1963 roundtable interview alongside Sidney Poitier, Marlon Brando, Charlton Heston, and James Baldwin. And the reason that I struggle with it so hard and I grapple with it so hard is because I really believe in the potential of this country. It was a human rights fight that Harry continued throughout his long life. Dr. King called me on the phone one day. Malcolm X knocked at the door one day. Nelson Mandela, he and I had an exchange of letters while he was in prison. And just these things kept emerging and each time I saw opportunity to become involved in what their struggle and our struggle was about and felt I'd make as big a difference as I could. 